have a timeout, if we have a timeout, I've had this board. This, this is a new, a new board. I had a board for all my years, and I had tape on it and everything. Mike Fratello was my assistant in New York, and we used to walk in, and he'd go, "Will you get rid of that damn board?" All the guys from the garment district are making fun of us. Would you walk in with that old beat-up board and tape on it, holding it together? But that was my lucky board, you know? So now for this clinic, I, I broke out a new board. Now, when we talk on a timeout, all right, the five guys are sitting. We put three or four guys here, three to four guys here, and the coaches stand behind. You check out the broads, you, you, you think something's funny, well, you're paying, because I can't see you. See, because I'm talking now to my team. Now, yesterday in the France-Spain game, both guys had boards. See, now, I don't use the pen, because you have a tendency with the pen all of a sudden, when we get away, even I didn't know who scored or who took the ball out, okay? But when you take these little people here and you put one, two, three, four, five by position and the opposite, we know what we're doing. And now, in the last play of the game, we're laying the play out that we're going to run because only one out of the five people wants the ball. The other four are going, please, God, don't let it be me. Please, please don't let it be me. Now, you know, hey, we've seen some of the greatest players, baby, go up and right up, throw it to another guy. The game is on the line, Jack. I've had that happen a number of times. When you're running for a, a supposedly great score, primetime guy, and the guy doesn't want the shot and they overpass to a guy. And if you remember when Chicago won the championship, John Saxon became a general manager because of the shot he made. The guy passed him the ball from under the basket. He was three feet away from the basket. He didn't want the shot. And he threw the ball to John Paxson outside. Paxson catches it, shoots it, goes up, boom, they win the championship. Paxson, everybody in Chicago knows what John Paxson did. How about the guy who passed him the ball? All he had to do was dunk it. Okay? Uh, but we, don't, we kind of forget that. You know, you know, we kind of forget that. So my point is this. <clears throat> when you went into the biggest game you lost this year, and you went into the last play and you had the offensive play, did you go to the right person to try to get the shot? Or you just went to your continuity and whoever was open took the shot? That's okay. That's your belief. That's why you're the coach. But if we ran a play for a certain person, A, did we get that person open? Did the play work? B, did they want the shot? All right, the next thing. When you go to a person who is your closer, they've got to be able to, one, make the shot. B, they have to be able to make the foul shots. That's why yesterday Gasol was 15 for 17. Come on now, the winner of that game. They were, they were down 10 with five minutes to go to, to France with Tony Parker. They had nine guys from the NBA on that France team. And then Mark Gasol and uh, Navarro and uh, uh, the, the, the point guard, you know, who played here. Uh, yeah, it was with the Knicks now. He didn't play either. So, so why do I say that? Because Gasol, he made 15 out of 17 foul shots under pressure. All right, so, number one, can he hit the shot? Can he make the foul shots? Number two, can he make the pass out of the trap? Can he or she make the pass out of the trap? All right, next thing. All right, then comes, if you have nothing, can the person get you a one-on-one -on -one move? All right, so before you start, so to me, we always use a board in communications because I read a long time ago that if you just talk verbally, <clears throat> because of the pressure of the moment, they retain what you're talking about, 
for less than seven seconds. You got a chance from 15 to 20 seconds if they see what you're running because it's something that they've practiced a hundred times before. They practice it, but you bring it back to them visionary, visionary. You relieve the pressure on the shooter.